Okay, so today we will see the condition for no emergence from a prism. Okay, so suppose you have a prism. So our target today is to find out whatever is the angle of incidence through the prism. There is no emergence from this side. Okay, so there is no emergence from here. Okay, suppose refractive index is mu, angle of prism is a. So, whatever is the i here, no light should emerge from here. Huh? So, what will happen here? We are expecting that okay, whatever is the angle of incidence, here we need T i r, right. So, here T i r will happen. So, what is the condition for T i r? Can we block what is it this r 2? You remember the standard notation, this is r 2, this is r 1, this is angle of prism, this is i and if there was emergence, we could have written angle of emergence, right. So, what will be the value of R2? What you can comment about R2? Correct, R2 should be greater than critical angle, correct now? R2 should be greater than critical angle. Now, check one more thing. What about uh, R1? What about R1? We know that R1 plus R2 is A, right? Hello? So, we want to know that you know whatever is the value of R2, R2 should be greater than critical angle. So, somehow suppose you find the smallest value of R2. Hello? Suppose the smallest value of R2, then even that smallest value should be greater than critical angle, right? Now, let us explore what will be the smallest value of R2. Tell me smallest value of R 2 will depend on largest value of R 1. What is the largest value of R 1 beta? Whatever is i. For what value of i R 1 will be maximum? You increase i, R will increase right little bit. Yeah. So, what is the maximum value of R 1? Even when the ray is grazing, then R 1 is the critical angle itself. So, the maximum value of R 1 is critical angle. The maximum value of a ray inside the denser medium is the critical angle, right. So, this is the critical angle. Now, what you do is that, sir, this is R 2, the R 2 minimum value will be A minus R 1's maximum value. Is that correct? Then this will be A minus theta c, correct now. Now, what you are saying is this is R 2's maximum value. Then what you will write? What is R 2? even minimum value is greater than theta c will do. So, we are saying okay, R 2 is how much? A minus theta c. The minimum value should be greater than theta c that guarantees that all other values will be definitely greater than you know theta c. So, what is the condition you are getting? A greater than 2 theta c. This is the condition I asked. So, we are okay. All right. Thank you.